Hi, welcome to the tutorial on generating distribution ledgers for financial reporting. The objectives of this tutorial are to understand distribution ledgers, define distribution ledgers, and generate distribution ledgers. Standard financial reporting and statements are based on the account ledger table FO911 and the account balances table FO902. The transactions distributed to the joint venture partners reside only in the joint venture distribution detail table FO9J12 and do not exist in the FO911 and FO902 tables. To be able to report on the distributed transactions, you can use the distribution ledger functionality that has been provided in the joint venture management system. This functionality creates FO902 and FO911 records in the specified distribution ledger for the distributed transactions. You can use the distribution ledgers to generate financial reports and statements using the standard JD Edwards Enterprise One reporting tools, such as One View for Financials, One View Financial Statements, Trial Balance, Account Balance by Month, Account Ledger Inquiry, general ledger by category codes, integrity reports, and so on. For each source ledger type that is distributed within the joint venture management system, you can define two distribution ledger types. One distribution ledger type to contain the transactions and balances for the managing business unit's share, and another distribution ledger type to contain the summarized transactions and balances for all the non-managing partners in the joint venture. Non-managing partners include outside partners and insider business units that do not manage the joint venture. To use this functionality, you must first define the distribution ledgers, access the distribution ledger types program, PO9J25. On the revised distribution ledger types form, Enter a source ledger type that will be used to retrieve the distributed transactions. Then, specify either a non-managing ledger type or a managing ledger type or both. The system will assign the sum of the distributed transactions for the non-managing partners in the non-managing ledger type field and the distributed transactions for the managing business unit in the managing ledger type field. Use the non-managing ledger reverse sign checkbox to reverse the sign of the total distributed amount for the non-managing partners. For example, when the total distributed amount on the source ledger type has a positive value, the distributed amount on the non-managing ledger type will have a negative value. Depending on your reporting requirements, reversing the sign may assist you with any calculations you may need to perform. Similarly, Use the Managing Ledger Reverse Sign checkbox to reverse the sign of the total distributed amount for the managing partner. After you have defined the distribution ledgers, you run the Generate Distribution Ledgers program, RO9J500, to add the distributed transactions to the distribution ledgers. In the Processing options for the program, you can specify whether to generate either the managing or the non-managing ledger or both and whether to create journal entries and account balances records or create only account balances records for the distribution ledgers. In the data selection for the program, specify the joint venture for which you want to generate the distribution ledgers. Then, run the program. The program creates account balances records, placing the managing partner's share in the managing ledger and the total of the non-managing partner's share in the non-managing ledger. When the RO9J500 program completes processing, the system generates a report listing all the joint ventures that were included in the process and notifies any errors that occurred during processing. To learn more about distribution ledgers, review the chapter Generating Distribution Ledgers for Financial Reporting in the JD Edwards Enterprise One Applications Joint Venture Management Implementation Guide. You can access the implementation guide from learnjde.com. Thanks for watching.